Hello guys, welcome to another quick tip. You may remember here this video that I did about the purging of the brake system uh, of this Alpha 33. Uh, and you may notice why can you, uh, can't you purge the rear uh, wheels. Um, this quick tip here is just for that. This is for the Alpha 33, the, the Alpha 155, the 75 uh, in, and many others makes and models. First of all, why do we need the regulator? Like I said on the video about brakes and ESP and uh, ABS, um, the more you brake, the less weight you have on the rear of the car. And actually the suspension opens up a bit, uh, quite a bit actually. And if you maintain the same force of braking on the rear brakes, they will lock up, okay, even with the ABS. So we have a regulator down on the suspension and when the, the wheels are all the way down, if you have a car on the lift or on the jack stands like it is today, uh, you may have uh, not enough fluid passing through your calipers or not, not at all. Here you have your regulator and it is connected by this spring to your Penard bar. What I will do, because I have to disassemble all of my rear suspension, uh, I will actually disconnect the Penard bar and lift up this spring to uh, push up, push in the regulator so we can have fluid come out to the caliper. A quick overview how this works. You have those two lines uh, that come from the ABS, or if you don't have ABS, from your ma ma brake master cylinder. Uh, they enter here, the regulator, and as the suspension is lower or higher, it acts on its panel bar, okay? And you, as you, it is going up, the car is lower, and it pushes on the center part of the regulator. This is a, a bit seized up, but don't worry. So, as it is pushing in this center part, you have more, um, more quantity of pressure of oil leaving the regulator. So, you have, let's imagine, 100% of pressure here, and is, if this center part is all the way up, you have close to uh, between 19 and 100% of pressure leaving to the, the calipers. On the other hand, if the suspension is all the way down, you have still 100% of entry, okay, but you can have close to 0% of exit of pressure. So this is just how the regulator works. It's not, not, not a big deal. You have two pipes uh, entering at 100% and you have the other two that can uh, exit between 0, zero and 100% regulated by this center shaft, this center piston that is currently seized up. <laughs> Knowing this, you can continue your purging the way that I told you on the other videos that I have about brakes. I don't think that, that I have to show you again because I don't repeat myself and I don't want to waste your time. So check out those videos to do the correct purging. You just have to raise the suspension or raise the, the regulator itself in some way. The, every way you want to do is the correct way as long as you do that movement and, and that, at that time you will have uh, fresh fluid coming out of your um, calipers. So there is one more importance about the pressure bleeding, not the vacuum bleeding, because with the pressure bleeding you can in fact uh, um, bleed very well these systems, uh, these old systems, and with the vacuum system you just cannot, uh, not efficiently anyway. So guys, I hope you like this quick tip. I hope. I can be of some help for you. Uh, please consider subscribe to my channel. It's very important uh, if you can do that. Uh, consider share with your friends. It's even more important for me. And hit that like, that like button. Also, on the description below, there is a lot of information that can be useful for you. Videos related to this one, playlists, and helps for the channel. About the helps for, for the channel, I know it's very soon. But uh, I, I want to talk to you about that in another video. Okay, bye.